So, good evening, good evening. Not a live stream tonight. Um, it is date night, so I need to get in the shower, get spruced up and start looking all fresh. And then we're going out. We're going out, out. Uh, we're not going out, out. We're just going out. Um, just for a walkabout, you know, walkabout. Out, out. Yeah, we'll move on. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel recently. Do appreciate it. And uh, thank you to everyone who has stuck a thumbs up on the video. How could you forget? Poke it about. Uh, make sure you do like the content. Make sure you download Flick, uh, the most interactive of footballing apps on the marketplace. It is free. The link is in the description. Uh, loads of quizzes, polls, leaderboards for the uh, predictions for every game. Uh, does a daily update, a weekly update, a monthly update. Over 500 people in a week join me on that. Thank you very much. Not only that, when we get to a 1,000, there is going to be a T-shirt giveaway, a football shirt. Any football shirt. This is from the 82 season, the year I was born. I'm looking all right for 38. Um, unlike Vinay. <laughs> uh, but anyway, listen, all jokes aside, download Flick. Um, do join me on there. When we get a 1,000 people following me on that application, there will be a football shirt giveaway. It doesn't matter what team you support. Uh, they will ship it anywhere. One lucky person will be picked, it, picked out by the powers that be at the uh, Flick corporation uh but let's uh, let's get straight into talking um about this guy i did a video earlier um where i briefly spoke about him uh well there's been an update apparently tottenham are making this guy maitland niles the best right back at arsenal football club the one that i've been singing his praises for 18 months or so um they're making him their number one right back choice to replace Serge Aurier, who they want out of the football club. And um, the fact that there was a bit of a power struggle with Maitland Niles is kind of worrying. <clears throat> you know, we've, no, we've now seen that Fraud Raul uh, has been sacked. Um, some say he had his hand in the till. I don't know. I'm not going to accuse him of that because uh, I don't know. But uh, it does seem a little bit fishy that, um, that he has been sacked because of transfer dealings where we've paid over the odds. Now, listen, with Maitland-Niles, um, Arteta and Eddie wanted to keep him. Raul wanted to sell him. I've said this before. I would sell him if there's a bid over 30 million quid um, that comes in. If there's a bid under 30 million quid, we're keeping him. If there's any bid from Tottenham Hotspur, tell them get in the bin. Yeah, Why would we give him a decent player like that? I don't care if they paid 130 million quid. They ain't having him. Uh, go and find your own right back instead of trying to nick ours. Um, so that's that out of the way. Uh, let's quickly move on to this one. Danny Ceballos. Uh, he drinks Estrella. He eats paella. The boy is effing magic, baby. And the boy has posted up on Instagram. It's Joe Willock's birthday today, I believe. Uh, happy birthday, Joe Willock. And he's actually posted up that um, <coughs> he said, excuse me, he said that he'll see him soon. Which has sent the Arsenal Twitter sphere into meltdown. Uh, well, that's what happens when most of them that use that application have free brain cells. <laughs> Just because he said, I'll see you soon, doesn't mean he's coming back. It means he could FaceTime him. He could meet up on holiday with the guy. He could go and have him at his own house in Spain. He may even fly back to see him in England. I swear down, Arsenal fans make me crease up on social media. It's hilarious. Um, but Danny Sabas is no closer, no closer to coming back to Arsenal as of yet, uh, as of now. Um, so he may be back. He may not be back. He will definitely see Joe Willock soon, though, uh, regardless of whether he comes back. Uh, let's move on to... That's a poor picture. I need to bin... In fact, I'm binning that picture as we speak. Let's bin that. Let's go and find the other one of him. There it is. Um, Matteo Genduzzi, lots of talk around Genduzzi, and um, a lot of it is in regards to Unai Emery. That's still a big thing in Spain right now, is that Matteo Genduzzi is going to join um, the ex-Arsenal manager, Unai Emery, good evening, um, at Villarreal. Um, if I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If I was him, I would do that move. Um, he ain't gonna get any look in at Arsenal. He's not going to get any game time. Um, so, yeah, do the move. Get gone. Get on it. 
Um, I like Gendouzi. I think he's a quality player. I think he's got the potential to kick on and be a proper decent player. Um, but he ain't going to get any game time under Arteta. I think Arteta and him, they've made their beds. They're now going to lie in them. Uh, no spooning required. Um, so there we go. I think that will potentially happen. But it's a case of getting the right fee. And as it stands, it's a loan fee with an option to buy him for 30 million, um, which I think is pretty decent business. But again, it could go one or two ways. He could either carry on going like that or he goes straight down into the gutter and we never hear of him again. Um, very quickly, I want to touch on the, the story that has broken about smoking Bellerin. Uh, smoking Bellerin is on holiday in Italy on one of the uh, the dodgiest looking boats I've ever seen, by the way. Um, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, maybe he built the boat to sail it on my salty tears about him. Who knows? Uh, but I genuinely couldn't give a shit whether he smokes. Um, so all you guys that keep asking me, and I know you guys have been mad asking me, there's been fucking under to you asking me, don't care. I smoke. I smoke. Uh, if he wants to smoke, it ain't going to... It ain't going to hinder his performances because he's shit anyway. Uh, so there we go. Uh, let's move on to last but by no means least, the big man. Um, if I can find him. <laughs> this is going well tonight, isn't it? There he is. I found him. Gabriel Magalish. 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 How do you say his surname? We're just calling Gabby. Right, Gabs? Yo, Gabs. Um, listen, five-year deal. Done, dusted, signed, sealed, delivered. Welcome to... London Colney to the Emirates to North Weezy, baby. Uh, it's actually not North Weezy, it's North. Um, but welcome to London, baby. Uh, that deal is done. Done, done, done. And if my source, my plug, gets this wrong, I'm blocking it. Because <laughs> uh, he did get it a little bit twisted on the Unai Emery sacking saga. Uh, but he did call Pepe uh, way before. He told me the news on that. He told me the news on t &E, uh, Before Sky Sports even had it up on their ticker tape that he was en route for a medical. I had already seen the picture of him having a medical. Um, so, yeah, he has, uh, he has said that Gabriel Magalash is a dumb deal, five-year contract. And um, that means to me that we're going to get rid of some of these centre-backs. Maybe this guy could be one of them. Um, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, maybe Rob Holden's another one. Um, Rob Holden's linked with quite a few clubs. Fulham uh, is one of them. Um, so we shall see. Leeds United's another one. Um, we shall see what happens with that. But Gabriel Magalaj, five-year contract, signed, sealed, delivered. And uh, the president of Lyon, Lyon, I'm having a mayor today. The president of Lille was on TalkSport today saying it should be announced uh, which club he's choosing uh, inside 24 hours. And that was at about midday today. So by tomorrow, there should be some formal announcement or here we go from Fabrizio um, saying that it is a done deal. But as far as I've been told, that is a dumb deal. As for him getting it wrong about Unai Emery getting sacked, technically he didn't. Um, <laughs> he did get sacked, but he uh, he just got the date wrong. <laughs> uh, but listen, if he gets this right, three out of four ain't bad. I can't complain about that. So listen, I'm just bringing you the information. I don't have any inside knowledge other than what I'm told. And uh, my man texted me and told me. So leave your thoughts and comments down below. Love to know what you guys think. Um, do you think that it's um, it's possible that Maitland-Niles will go to Tottenham? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on Gabriel. Uh, tell me how to say his name. That would help. And um, are you excited? I would say be excited if we sign him. Um, <laughs> on that note, I'm out of here. Have a wonderful evening. I'll be back again about lunchtime tomorrow. Uh, date night's on, baby. Get my Lionel Richie on. Hello. Is it me you're looking for?